Okay, so the question is um, uh, the desire for liberation or a, a teacher once said, if I have a uh, agree, if I have a, uh, if I have a, uh, is it a desire or something for getting out of greed? No, getting out of greed is the last desire, something along those lines. And it's all, it's all good. Okay, so here's the thing. So see it like this. Um, right, uh, it, like in a lot of spirituality, they say desire is not a good thing. Uh, so it's just the word desire, like if you have a desire, it can be a bad thing or whatever. But you've you got to understand this. Um, I like to use the word uh, inspiration as opposed to desire when it's liberation. You know, if I have a desire for a donut uh, or, or to eat uh, 10 pizzas, um, I would say I have a desire to eat 10 pizzas. You know, it's, a, it's more like a uh, a lust or a desire or a, 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 a ego, an ego craving, ego craving, I think is the right thing. So what is this thing to be free, liberation? Is that like an ego craving? No, I wouldn't say that's an ego craving or an ego desire. Uh, I'm just using words. It's very hard to use. Everyone has a different interpretation of words. So what happens is as a, a spiritual seeker does spiritual work, the um, the density of the ego starts to thin. And so the infinite light uh, and the infinite love of the truth uh, of, of infinity starts to get stronger, like the clouds are thinning and the sunlight, like a, like a gravitational pull, starts to give, uh, it almost feels like more energy and inspiration, spiritual inspiration, not an ego desire, not coming from the ego, but it's like that light is now getting so strong that there is, it almost has a phenomena of its own that that the remaining thoughts, the re remaining beliefs, the remaining attachments, the remaining identifications, uh, there seems to be, I call, I would, I, would, I would use the word inspiration just to burn everything off because the pull of the sun now gets very, very strong. When there's too many beliefs and too many uh, too much rubbish in the ego, and the, 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 they haven't a person hasn't done enough spiritual work. Then the, it's very much the ego thinking and ego cravings and desires that run the show. If I eat that donut, if I get that person, if I get more money. Um, <clears throat> so I, these for me, uh, you're just using words, but they're they're stemming in origin from the ego. <clears throat> the e ego's um, main idea is if it gets something external then it will it'll feel better, it'll feel happy. If I eat that donut, I'll feel happy, I'll get a sense of liberation. If I drink that alcohol, if I get that that romantic partner, if, if I get more, if I win the lottery. So these things I would call ego cravings, desires, or the deadly sins. Um, but however, when you're starting to let go of beliefs and thoughts and ideas of the world and of the ego, and let go of the more um, animal cravings, uh, as the ego thins, then it's like the light of consciousness, the light of the infinite starts to dominate like a, a bright sunlight. And then as it becomes more and more intense, that inner sunlight, then there, there, there is, I, I would like to use the word inspiration to just burn off everything else. So it doesn't actually stem from the ego. It's not like the ego wants to be free. That is, that is the call of the infinite to wash away the last remains of the, a very weak ego after all that spiritual work is done. So now if someone says like, um, when it's uh, when it's uh, when it's originating from the ego, the ego wants to be free, um, it might be, I don't know if that's possible because I don't know if the ego wants to disappear forever and never exist again. I don't know if that would come from the ego, but generally, um, there is a thing where, you know, uh, where people want to be free, but still have an ego. You know, I want to be free of the pain, but I still want to be my thoughts uh, and be an, uh, a separate existence. But I want, I want liberation. Well, that, that's, that's not true freedom. That's the ego wanting to have less pain and to feel more free, but still to exist. So I would say that um, that's not fully there. There's nothing wrong with that, you know, just to have less ego and to feel more freedom, but still to exist in duality as as in separation from the infinite. So that could that could be. So then that you could be. You could say that's a belief or or a 
or a desire that stems from the ego. And when it stems from the ego, and the ego still wants to exist afterwards, like to enjoy, because the, the ego cannot can never enjoy freedom, because to be free is to be free of the ego. So if the ego says, I want to be free, it's usually lying in the sense that it wants to get rid of a lot of the pain, but still exist. So true liberation is actually the, the end of the ego. It, no longer, it won't be there to enjoy it. it. It's gone for good, you see. So it just depends. So then how do you know whether it's coming from the ego or whether it's the, I call it, you could say it, the, the light of the infinite that's burning the ego off. So not, not originating from the ego, if you like, but that's the gravitational pull of the infinite to dissolve away all illusions and all limitation. Um, well, it could be different in different spiritual seekers. Some some spiritual seekers may it may may be stemming, it may be a desire. Look, if I have a desire to be free, um, I can't be free because my thinking can never be free. It's only when my thinking disappears, so there is an impossibility. So unless unless the desire is for the thinking to cease to exist forever, in which case, um, would the ego really want to do that? I would call that that would be interesting. Because then the ego would be asking for it to cease to exist forever, and I'm not sure if the ego, maybe. I, I mean, I'm not God. I uh, probably have to ask God that question. Uh, but um, I, mean, I think a lot of spiritual seekers get fed up with the ego, and they they want freedom at any cost, even if it means the end of their ego forever. That that is that that is um, that is auspicious. So um, so th it's an interesting thing. You have to sort of you'd have to sort of see who's speaking and who's asking the question and whether it's coming from the ego. But uh, true true freedom, I wouldn't call it a desire stemming from the ego. I'd call it more like the, the light of the infinite just uh, now becoming, the influence of the infinite becoming so strong, the sunlight becomes so strong that um, it's almost like uh, the last remains of the ego get burnt off. It's like there's like a, there's like a, a will a will not stemming from the ego to burn off what remains of the illusions. So that's just my way of explaining it. You can you can see it differently. That, that that's fine. But that's that's how I would, I would say it. Um,